I'm back. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a blind without using any uh, rope or cordage of any sort. As you can see, got a whole pickup bed full of uh, branches I cut. I was cleaning out a pentro and I, then I cut firewood. So I cut them off of everything I didn't use. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a blind without any cordage. Um, I'm going to be using today, I'm not sponsored by them, but my little Les Stroud survival saw, I guess you can call it. It comes with this handy dandy little belt sheath and a ferro rod. And I don't recommend wearing it on your belt, although I am. Uh, I was doing some stupid stuff the other day and I jumped off this little ramp and uh, I landed on it and cracked ribs so yeah and here comes my bottle cap to come help me I'm just behind the house what you doing Debbie? you wanna say hi to the viewers? Huh? you wanna say hi to the viewers? look you on camera alright well I'm gonna get this unloaded and then uh... alright everyone I'm back I cleaned out the back of the pickup as you can see cut all the tree branches out of it, and uh, I have two categories of trees here, I have cedar, or juniper, whichever one you want to call it, actually, this is juniper, because it's a pest tree, and this over here is pine, so, I'm going to be making my blind right, right from about right, probably there, probably over to there, it's probably about, I don't know, a 15 yard span, or not a 15 yard, 15 feet span, there's my bag, alright, anyway, I'm going to put you all on tripod real quick. There's my cows. Let me set you all down real quick. Sorry. Setting up my tripod, guys. Alright, this tripod sometimes does not like to work. Today, it's one of those days. There we go, guys. Now you're locked in. Alright, so, the reason I got two different kinds of trees, because where you're building your blind depends on what kind of tree you want to use. If, uh, if you're building it somewhere and there's only pines, you probably only want to use pines, because then if you don't, it'll stand out. But, here there's pines and junipers. So I'm going to use a little bow since I have it, and try and get rid of it. Whatever I don't use, I'm going to use at my camp. To make kind of like a little outdoor shade deal. So, I'm going to start this and uh, I'm going to show you all the technique I'm using. And after, I don't know, a couple minutes of doing that, I'm going to turn the camera off again, get the blind built. I'll come back show you all what I've done. And uh, of course, from the bottle cast, got to come check everything out. What you doing, Debbie? Hmm? Curious? Alright, guys. Make sure you all can see that. Where I'm building, I'll set y'all back just a touch. Hope my bottle cap did not knock y'all over because he is sniffing on my camera. All right, guys. I put my saw down somewhere over here by where it's parked. I'm gonna find it as we go. All right, so first, what you want to do? You want to take some of your laundry or stout branches and uh, kind of make a frame. Debbie, De hey, Debbie, don't, don't do it. Debbie, don't. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Good girl. All right. We're going to need my saw for this. Sorry I'm not organized yet, guys. I thought I had everything in plan, but I'm going to go get my set of gloves and see the pickup right there. Blind. Y'all might be asking yourself why I'm only wearing one glove, Dad, because you do. I'm only wearing one glove, and that's, uh, that's because I got a blister on my hand, this hand, my right hand, from, uh, using a cross-cut saw without any gloves, and so I just need one as of right now. 
Hey, back up. Back, hey, back up. All right, so let's find some of our longer ones. Now, we'll start out with juniper because it's more of a denser, spacier type of tree. And uh, let's start. Let's see, which way is this one going to go? Over here. What you want to try to do is just lean it up. Start working your way back. Debbie, I know you won't be in the video, but I kind of don't need your help. And what you want to do, guys. Find a good stout branch with these on. Once you've done that, you kind of just interweave them in there. We need to stop it. Stop. Yeah, she's kind of messing up my pile here. I won't use the pine real quick because it's bigger and it's just the branches I cut on the juniper aren't going to stick around. Depends on how many people you're trying to fit your blind on how you want to do it. But uh, I'm just making an airsoft blind when me and my buddy play airsoft. Or you can use this just as good as a hunting blind. But uh, you need to make it big enough for at least you if you're going to be using it and your gear. So that's how big it should be anyway. It should be big enough for you and your gear to fit in it comfortably and flatly. Probably shouldn't have put the bigger trees on the bottom, or the bigger limbs on the bottom, but that's just how I had them stacked in there. That's how it's going to be. Back up here, right in the camera. Come on. I will not walk into the camera. There you go. I roofed it. And once again, guys, I'm not using any cordage of any kind to build this. It's strictly based on weight of how you build it. Yeah. 
my cash would leave my camera alone. Guys, I want to show y'all how I've been laying these in here a little closer up. And, uh, kind of teach y'all a little better than being a little bigger way. So, what I've been doing, and you can kind of tell, you can't tell yet, is I've been laying these in here kind of on top of each other. Right now. That's what you can tell. So, when I go put these next few in, I think y'all should be able to figure out how I've been laying them in there. It's What I'm doing is I'm taking a V in each branch, which they're sometimes is and sometimes not, and then sliding the next one up on it, and it kind of catching like this. So it, uh, it kind of just holds itself. And, uh, I'll do it with this pine, because it's pretty easy to tell with the pine. So as you can see, there's a little gap right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide it up like that. And make sure it hangs nicely. I'm just going to keep on doing that almost all the way up. And you can build a shelter just as easy, just like this. The same way. Basically, I mean, really, that's all you're doing. You're building a shelter to hide, not to survive in. And you could use this to survive in if you had to. I mean, I would build it a little differently if I was having to survive in it, but. If you're thinking about these discolored branches, it's because they're. Hey guys, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was out of frame. Back here. Looking at these discolored branches right here, guys. It's uh, cause the, where that tree was. It was because these junipers do something called self pruning, and uh, if it's too dry for them to really do good and survive, they'll kill off half of, half one side of their tree, or just a couple branches to save that water. And then when the rainy season comes back or the drought ends and there's more rain. Uh, those branches will come back uh, fresh and healthy. I don't think I'm going to use all these branches in this one blind. I strongly doubt it. I really strongly doubt it. But you never know. Move you guys back out so y'all can see the whole thing. Hope y'all see that. There you go. go. See, I almost forgot the most important deal. And that is, uh, when you're building a blind like this, just kind of in a tree line, it doesn't necessarily, it's not always straight. So sometimes you got to curve the ends of your blind to make them, make it where you can't be seen from all angles. And I'm not making this real thick. I mean, it looks like I am, but I'm really not. I'm just kind of stacking stuff in there because... We're going to need to be able to shoot out of this very fucking way. I'm starting to get to the point where it's looking pretty good. I need to add some pine to that other side. Over here, where I just put this pine to kind of deaden the uh, mellow color of the uh, real green. Just kind of trying to make it more of a forest green, as you can tell. 
not that way it's not all one color, it's kind of broken up. Oh, that's a perfect branch up here. So this one. That's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm going to clean up the inside a little bit. And uh, then I'm going to show you all the inside and how it looks from farther away and how it looks from close. I mean, y'all are already close, but how it looks from the inside too as well. So uh, I'll get on that real quick. And uh, I'll be right back. Alright, everybody. I'm back. Once again, there's the juniper. There's the pine. That's what we've used. Uh, there's the blind right there, as you can see from right there to right there. And, uh, I just went and worked on the inside very little, uh, mainly just trimming up. And I'd never worked in this spot before. This is fresh, brand new. I just thought of it today as I saw them branches laying on the ground as I was clearing out the fence row. So here you are walking in the back of where the blind is. Got a very clean trail to walk into. That's what it looks like from the back. Here's a spot you can walk in. Walk in right here. So you can see, you can see out. See my tripod, the rest of the stuff. Cows. Then here's another thing. You can put a tree stand up there. I wouldn't. I'd just rather climb up there myself. But all I did was clean up these little nubs on these branches. I'm going to step. Oh, so I don't fall. You can step over, and then there's a little window that I made in the blind. Once again, guys, this is not a shelter. This is just a blind. And like I said, there's no cordage whatsoever, as you can see. It's all just put together by stacking stuff on top of each other. And gravity, that's all it is. That's all it is, guys. Now, if y'all want me to do a video on how to make a shelter like this out in the woods, let me know in the comments, and I'll do it, because I enjoy doing this. I genuinely do. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to show y'all how the blind looks from a little farther away, and then that'll be the end of the video, guys. So there you go. There's how it looks a little farther away. Y'all were right where the tripod was. But now we're probably 20 yards back. And as you can see, there's no really, there's just a little bit of a color difference. But other than that, it looks pretty good to me. So this is it, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. All right, bye.